for watching ride comparisons and I'm back for another Hyperia update. Why, oh why, did I go to Voltron a month before Hyperia opens? It's just not going to compare. That being said guys, we can't compare a UK attraction to the likes of Europa Park. Europa Park is the best theme park in Europe. Oh, it's really windy today. Anyway guys, let's go see what Hyperia looks like today. It's really windy today guys, so apologies if the sound quality is a bit rubbish. So since I've been away, Hyperius had its first riders. Um, it really annoys me when theme parks do that, because it's like, it, it's taunt, you know, it taunts you. It's right there, we can go on it, but it's had other people going on it. Why can't we, do you know what I mean? Um, Europa Park, when they opened Voltron at their press day, they had fireworks, they had the act there, and it looked amazing. But on the actual opening day, it was just people falling over each other. They didn't have any of that. So I really hope Fort Park does Hyperius opening day correctly. Um, and if Fort Park is, or anyone from Fort Park management team is watching this video, make sure you look at Europa Park's opening day for Voltron and just, just don't, don't do that, you know, learn from their mistakes. So I haven't actually seen Hyperia test since its first ever test run. Hopefully we can get a good uh, test run in today so I can have a little look at it, see if it's got any faster and see if that lift hill's moving faster. It'd be quite interesting to see. Now let's start the update. As you can see, more wood chip, more plants. And they're getting on with the queue line quite nicely over there by the looks of it. Hey, it looks like I'm in luck. It looks like we're going to get a test run. As you can see, the uh, four seats at the front don't have dummies in them anymore. I believe that's where the uh, first riders have been recently. Just want to show you over here quick as well, just where that builder's standing, guys. If you remember um, a couple of weeks ago and when, when they first tested it, there was a ladder up there to the um, lift hill. There's actually now a staircase been built, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, there's a lot more fences in the queue line. Okay, here we go, guys. That lift hill is a lot faster since the last time I saw it. Wow, we got another one. So, Fort Park have recently released a picture with all of the elements of Hyperia and how much airtime they're going to have. In the last vlog, we looked at it. We looked at the um, 
amount of airtime Fort Park said it's going to have. We also looked at the um, the actual length of the ride and we worked out that it's going to be about 42% of the actual ride you're going to be out of your seat. So let's go see what that looks like. guys Hyperius tested about five times since I've been here there's rumors that it's the second train because it's still going around a little bit slower but for me since I was here right, the first time it actually tested it looks awesome and it's going around so much faster than it was so that brings me to the end of today's update guys um, as I was walking back to the car it went around another three times it's getting a lot faster it looks awesome um, it's it's opening soon guys I'm a little bit concerned because there still looks like there's a lot to do on the site in regards to theming and just touching up the area um, but uh, the higher ups have said that there's been no delays it's still going to be opening on the 24th so I don't think we need to worry too much uh, which means it could be some exciting updates over the next coming weeks um, what I do want to say is guys um, the stall I've just been on Voltron at Europa Park and that was the best stall I've ever done you get launched into it whipped sideways and the hang time is incredible but looking at Hyperia the way you just go into the stall you're upside down already and you just hang there and you just float it's going to be a very good stall so um i wonder if it's going to beat Voltra. i'm not too sure on that one anyway guys we're nearly there we've probably got about three updates left and that's it hyperia is opening soon so much hype anyway guys if you did enjoy today's video don't forget hitting that subscribe button really does help us out and i'll see you next time